Things you should avoid, those yes no ones. Multi part compound questions. Um, where were you born and how many siblings did you have and what did your mother and father do and how long did you live there and, uh, and, you know, and what was it like in winter? Now, I mean, uh, where, where do I start or where do I end? You know, you're either going to confuse the person or they're going to pick the one bit they want to answer or the last bit and answer that. So, one question at a time. What's a leading question or a loaded question? Yes? Oh, uh, yeah, you're telling, yes, yeah. You're, you're giving them the answer in the question. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. The answer is built into the question. I mean, along the lines of, um, you know, so, so how much money did you steal from the taxpayers? <laughs> okay, hi. Right. Yeah, yeah. The question is whether you did or did not steal. It's not open. It's question how much, you know, I mean, how many millions, you know. I mean, now, there you go, that's an extreme example. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. When did you stop beating your little brother? Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, also. Yeah. Um, but, but even things such as, oh, you know, the coal industry must have had a big influence on your life. Well, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But you know, the question does not give the interviewee the option of saying, no. No, actually, it didn't have much influence on my life, you know. Uh, or, oh, it must have been really hard to walk 10 miles barefoot to school in the snow, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. No, actually, it was pretty easy. You know? <laughs> I never did. I took the bus. Um, <laughs> um, big philosophical questions and, and telling your own life story. Okay, I think we're almost ready. A um, couple of things here. Um, most interviews shouldn't go much over an hour, 90 minutes, top side. Um, they are, they can be tiring. Uh, group interviews are problematic. Uh, Any time you get more than one person together, there's another dynamic going on there. Uh, so it's generally a bad idea to interview married couples uh, because uh, usually they whoever's answering is answering not just to you but to their spouse and in any group if you get you know, seven or eight people around some people are going to um, you know, dominate one of the big issues that all historians face are differences of age race gender and class and um, that, that's a tough one. I mean, I'm just going to give you my take on this. Um, I, it's, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my age, but I'm telling you I'm not a teenager anymore. Okay, we can we can establish that, right? Um, now, you know, I could interview one of you as, as, as a teenager, and I mean, I you know I don't have the same experience as you. Okay, and it will be a different interview from the interview that would be conducted by one of your peers, somebody of your own age, okay? Um, the same thing with gender. You know, I can interview a woman and it will be a different interview from a, an interview that will be conducted of a woman of my age, whatever that is, um, you know, w with that woman. Okay, we'll get that. 57, all right? Okay. Um, and, and <laughs> you, you got your answer eventually there, right? Yeah. Um, now my, my point on this is that I don't think anyone is, you know, kind of more or less valid than another. It's just different. Ezra? Um, are there certain things to look for, like, to be careful on how you work questions? Um, I think so. I think you need to be, you know, you need to be sensitive. You know, if somebody's coming from, um, you know, is of a different age, race, gender, class, or you can think of other d devices there, yeah, yeah, you've got to be a little thing. I mean, there's some questions that you could, you know, maybe you would not, which would not be as welcome coming from a young person as somebody that are the same age. Let me put it that way, okay? 
So think about that. That's a really that's a really good point. Okay, you know, and it is a limiting factor. You know, think about who you are and who the other person is. You can do the interview. It will not be the same interview as one with somebody closer to them in profile would be. And think about what questions might or might not be appropriate. On the other hand, you might be able to come up with some questions that a person closer to them would never even think of asking. Maybe more interesting too. Yes, sir. Is there a polite way, like if you ask a question, they uh, do that? Where they don't really answer the question, they go off into like a. Uh huh. I feel like it's kind of long-winded. Is there a polite way that you can interject and like move on to the next question? Uh, depends on who you're talking to, to some degree. Um, I, I, you know, I, te I tend to be pretty direct about this, and I'll, I'll say, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, th thank you for telling me about last year's soybean harvest, and I, I'm, re I'm really glad that you know you're doing well as a farmer. But you know, remember here, you know that we're we're talking about the history of the secretary. You know, uh, um, I, I think you know, I think you can be polite and, and take it and, ta and take it and take it back there. You know, you know, you've got to be interested in the person. You know, you can't be doing these. So. Stop it! That's, that stuff's irrelevant, you know. <laughs> and don't sort of, don't turn off the recorder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I I think you know you come back. You know I you know you, you you phrased your question to me very nicely. You know, so you obviously got good sort of interpersonal skills there. You use those to you know politely steer somebody steer somebody steer somebody back on track. Okay, give them a little leeway, but then steer them back. You know. Hmm. All right. And these are the kind of things that you might sort of say at the end. Here. Okay, we're going to do a little exercise here, all right? We're going to pretend we're going to do an oral history project. Okay, and I was trying to think about what kind of topic everybody would have some views on. So I, <laughs> I came up with this one, breaking the rules in high school, okay? A short history of subversive activity because we have to have a colon in the title to make it historical. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I... Th okay. Okay. High schools have got lots of rules, haven't they? Uh, yeah. yeah. Kind of, kind of, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah, yeah, well, at least my son told me lots of rules and he broke them all, <laughs> every day, <laughs> not all, but every day. So, let's say, I mean, this is a, this to me actually is a pretty good example of the kind of history that probably would not be done by any other means other than oral history, okay? So, Here's what I want you to do, and I think we're going to just divide you into little groups and give you maybe you know, 10 minutes to talk about this. Um, what I want you to think about here is, you know, um, why is this topic significant, okay? Um, you know, why, why sh should the issue of rules in high school, you know, why can we study that as a historical topic, okay? Right, I'm not going to give the answers here, I want you to think this out. So, let's think about why it's important. Think about who your audience will be. Who would you interview here? Okay, well the obvious thing is to interview those who obey the rules or break the rules, but those are not the only people to interview, okay? Think about other people, people you might interview. Um, what kinds of rules are there? Again, I, I um, <laughs> for better or worse, I missed the American high school experience. Um, but from what I know, you know, um, from my own kids, you know, there are, you know, there are different areas of high school activity where certain rules apply. You know, I'm not going to say anything more than that. Um, and have these rules changed, okay? Um, so, let me just leave that there. So let's go, how many people do we have? We've got about 30 people, do we? 25. 25, yeah. Okay, why don't you get a group of five or six and start talking about some of these issues and also maybe think about some of the questions you're going to ask. But think about who you're going to interview, what the kind of topics are going to be within this broad area of high school rules, and um, maybe what kind of questions would come up, okay?